If your nib's too slow and your ink won't flow, here's one of the places that you can go. Larry is here to help you through with Mr. Announcer and Cubby too. It's Larry's Fountain Pen Review. Hello folks, how is everybody doing today? My name is Larry Baronis, aka the Pinbug Guy here in Fort Worth, Texas. Yeehaw! And welcome to Larry's Fountain Pen Review. And you can find me on the YouTube channel if you're new. And while you're there, you might as well just hit the subscribe button and hit the bell because you're going to dig it like I do. It's all good. So, it's time to get back into business and... This uh, uh, video uh, is sponsored by Loretta from Euchre's uh, Pins. So, uh, she sent me the newest and latest one that's out. It's uh, a little bit different than the felt tips, okay? And uh, so, what we're going to do is open the box, give you some dimensions, talk a little bit about the pen, show you some inks, uh, and then we're going to do the writing sample and where you can buy these pens where I know of anyway. Okay? Cool. So let's get busy right down here. So it's going to come in your typical cardboard sleeve right here, as I've shown before in many of, of the videos. And then what I really like about Euchre's is the presentation is really neat looking. I'm all about presentations. When that, how the uh, pen comes in the... Uh, uh, pin box, uh, I've always, to me, found that really fascinating. That just me. I'm just digging a nice-looking pin box, uh, you know, especially when you're doing uh, a review of such a quality in affordable pen, right? Right. So let's open it up. It's cardboard all the way around. And inside... You'll see some different slots here. Okay. Here's the pen. And uh, here is how uh, your your tips will come in if you order a different tip. So the pen comes in the box, as you see it here. And the name of the pen. Elios. And then uh, right here in this slot, uh, depending what you order, if you order a different uh, nib unit, uh, it's going to come one of these slots or now this one didn't come with the converter but I did put one of the converters from my other pens this would come in one of the slots right here okay so uh, so this pen uses cartridges and they're right here a few of them right here and you can always turn it into your favorite ink as well with the ink converter so that's pretty cool about that as well so this one is going to be the uh, the lacquer or well, they come in lacquer or a satin chrome finish so you got some choices going on here so this is the black well this is black red okay which is a nice color then they have a satin chrome finish as well and then they have a shiny chrome parts in the clip as well so they've got a lot of different colors going on there with the three different pin colors and choices so I think it's a little something for for everybody now let's go ahead and pull this out and this has the they come with a felt tip okay now they come with the choice of 0 0.8 1.0 1.2 and a 1.4 so you get an extra fine fine medium and a broad okay so that's pretty cool too so you can change up because the whole unit comes together unscrew it and put another one in and they're easy to clean uh, I've done a lot of reviews on them so you might want to check out my channel and uh, just put the name in and it'll uh, take you to one of many 
video that I've done on this pen. So now this pen, I'll go ahead and give you the dimensions here. The the length of the pen closed, like you see it here, is going to be six point zero. I'm sorry, five point thirty five inches. When you open the pen and you want to, for those who like to pose, it's going to be six point zero two inches. The weight of the pen is twenty nine G's. Um. And then you can get, uh, like I said, the ink cartridges, they're standard ink cartridges, which Yogurt also provides different colors. And they're really nice colored inks that they pop. I like all, all of them. And then here are just a few of their inks. There's lilac purple to die for, and this beautiful Tahitian blue as well. They just got some beautiful inks. And you know, it's all about the ink for me. If it if that ink pops, I'm loving it. So uh let's go ahead and move on down to the material of the pen is a, a brass. And I do like the clip on the pen. It's a short clip, not a long one. And then I, I do like the way the design is on the barrel. Really a good looking, sharp looking pen. And it's got a nice white band on the top that has the name Euchers. And then at the bottom has a, a thin, smaller, narrow band right underneath it. But see how this pen just all comes together so nicely. Really nice. So then. And you go on top to the finial. There's not a lot going on there, but it matches the clip. And as you go down this barrel, it kind of takes a different sh uh, sh shape. Or I want to say tapered on the end of it, because at the end of it, you can post your pin, and we'll get into that when I do the uh, posting on it. And it has a couple of uh, narrow bands at the bottom here, so. Really a nice, well-designed pen. Uh, it's got a nice feel to it. It really does. Uh, you know, it's not a light pen. It's not a heavy pen. It's just a just right pen. It just feels good when you write with it. Now, I've been taking this pen, and I've been writing with it continuously for a little over a week. Because I want to make sure when I let you guys know out there my honest opinion about any pen what I think about it. And remember, we all are different with different opinions, likes and dislikes. So this is just mine. And like I've always said, the best way to know a pen is to, if you ever have a chance to go to a pen show, go to the pen show and just ask the dealer that you're interested in whatever pen and uh, if you could test it out. That way you'll know, especially on the nib sizes. That's always important as well. Uh, so, here we go with this. Now, I'll set all this aside. So, let's go ahead and pull the cap off. Talk about posting. There it is. Uh, it's post is okay. Yeah, I like this one. Uh, post it. And I was going to show you that it will come off. So, if you're going to, if you're one of those folks that like to post pens, you need to be careful because this one will come off. Now, I'm not sure if they're all that way or not, and I'm pushing it in there really good. But uh, that's the only problem that I've seen with the cap. And on the inside of the cap, it does have a plastic insert all the way down. But uh, that's no biggie uh, for me at all. But it does that. Just beware. If you're one of them floppers, flopping your pin around like I am, it's going to go skyrocket. Yeah. And then you got to go look for it. Oh, mercy me. Okay. So anyway, so as we go down the barrel, and again, I just love the feel of this pin. I love the design. It really is really a nice looking pin. You go down to the grip. Not a big section at all. Small section. So, uh, you can hold your fingers right there. I have small fingers. Now, nah, that's not going to do it. I will hold it right about here. 
That's where I hold mine right here, and it's perfect. And your fingers are not going to slide off whatsoever. I know I hear people already. No, I can't because it's chrome, and my fingers will get uh, uh, slippery, and they'll and they'll slide off. No, not when you have it right here, and it's really perfect right here. It feels good in my hands, and I have small hands. So if you have Godzilla hands like Mr. Announcer, you hold it, Mr. Announcer. Dun 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 dun. Okay, I'm going to hold it right here, but yeah, the texture is perfect. Uh, I, I don't feel any slippage going on. This is really nice. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, so that's that. So, and then you go down, and there is the tip. So this is not a fountain pen with a typical tib uh, uh, nib unit. This is not the felt tip as well. This is a roller ball that has just come out for Euchre's pins, brand new on the market. And let me tell you, I've been writing with this pen religiously, smooth and wet, and it just sails across the paper. I really enjoy the pen. Let's unscrew it. Take a look inside. Take a look at it. Okay, here we go. And I've used one of their cartridges. You know, I'm not a cartridge guy, but I do use them since I have them. And if you have a cartridge and you want to refill that cartridge, you can uh, just take a syringe and get your favorite ink. And you can, you know, of course, yes, clean out your cartridge. And then you can fill it with whatever ink your heart desires. And off you go. Or you can use a converter that you can purchase and I forgot how much they are but they're really reasonable and just put it in there and you can just suck out your own ink so all right for those who ask me I can feel it I can feel it can you make this into an eyedropper nope cannot not not do that so don't even think about it nope 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 can't do it can't do it sorry bud so uh They have a whole different line of pins. I mean, this is just one of them that uh, they have. So, I mean, they got, there's another one, a real nice one, the, the Ocean Blue, uh, super nice uh, pen. Uh, I like it myself. In fact, I like all of them. They're all reasonable. Now, where can you buy these? Well, you can buy these at Federalist Pens and Paper. You can buy them at Pin Boutique as well. Uh, who else carries them that I know? Um, I'm not sure who else. Maybe, I'm sure about everybody carries them, you know. Uh, probably uh, Ghost Spot Pins, uh, Pin Chalet, Anderson Pins. Uh, just like I said, just about everybody carries them. They're a real popular pen. And uh, God, you can use them, like I said, like a fountain pen. They got felt tip, top. they got the roller ball going on. So they got inks, bottle inks. They got cartridges that uh, are all affordable. Everything is made affordable. You know, money's tight nowadays, right? And so there's people that do not like fountain pens, do not like ballpoint pens, do not like felt pens. Well, here is your roller ball. So they got something for everybody. You know, they got the rollerball. They got the felt nib. And uh, so it's a little this and a little of that. For those who like rollerballs, I like them. Felt tips, I like them. So they're all great pins. I mean, it's nothing wrong with the pin whatsoever. Uh, pull off cap. The only thing I found is the cap will come off. So let me try something else while we're on here. Let me take this off and see this one. Now this one stays on real good. So, and it just could be this, the cap on this. So anyway, this is the one and only Elios. Now let's do a, a writing sample. What do you say? And I've got to use this, this great paper and it's called the Paper Don't Judge, and the style is Ayush. Paper. Yes, and where can you buy this paper at? I believe that also comes from Federalist Pens. From Frankie, baby! Frankie! Yep. And you know what? Dynamite man, a good man. 
honest man, a man you can trust, for real. I'm not just saying it, but that's the truth, nothing but the truth, so help me God. So here we go. We're going to do a writing sample. That's the favorite part of the show, right? <laughs> How do you like all that? <laughs> so I'm insane. Oh, well, I'm a good way insane. Isn't that right, Mr. Announcer? Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. All right, here we go, my good friends. And I'm going to leave it in post. So today is the 8th. Isn't that nice how it writes? I like that. And uh, it's uh, the year of 21, let's just say. But you can always put August, for those who want to be more exact. Uh, the 8th. Is that right, Mr. Enough? Very good. Thank you. All right. Here we go. So, get everything ready, situated, so, because I like everything in order. I kind of go bananas, but I do that anyway. So, here we go. Okay. This is the rollerball. All right. And does it have a tip number on it? No, it does not. It's just a rollerball, okay? And the name of the pen is right here, my friends. Okay. And, of course, the ink is... Okay, so here we go. Great ink flow. No problems with the ink. None whatsoever. And I do like their black ink a lot. I like all their inks, to tell you the God's truth. Do a little wet test. It does lay down the ink. And you do have a little bit of wetness there. And there. And let me try one more thing, just because I can, I guess. Let me find that little book I wanted to find. If you don't mind. Oh, here we go. Dun, 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 dun. Now, if you're just using regular, let's just say notebook paper, I'll just do the heck of it, okay? This is regular notebook paper, okay? It just sucks the ink right up, but it does show a good color on regular notebook paper. So, that is the whole story on the newest pen by Joker's uh, pen. I mean, they've done a good job, great job. So, Loretta, thank you so much for sponsoring this video. I appreciate all the help that you've given me through all the years that's gone by. You've been Johnny on the spot for me. I hope you're doing well and staying healthy and keeping safe with this virus slash the Delta has come out. In fact, all folks, I hope and pray that everyone's staying safe, not taking this for granted. The virus here in Fort Worth, the numbers are high slash the, the Delta has come out with it. Kind of a mutation from the virus, isn't that right? From the, yeah, it's yeah. a variant. Yeah. So, uh, uh, let's not take it for, for granted. Because you don't want to take your lives for granted. Uh, just be really careful because I hate for anyone to get sick and it's a pretty horrible way to go, what I hear. So, God bless each and every one of you. And as always, my good friends, be kind to a stranger out there. And please, don't text, don't drive, save a person's life as well as your own. A lot of peace and a lot of love 
and long live the Beatles. God bless y'all. See you later. Bye-bye. <laughs>